Hi everyone! About a year ago I made a video about my grass painter tool that works with a geometry shader. This video is about an update to that tool because geometry shaders aren't actually very well supported. So I've changed the setup to use a compute shader instead, which can be used on more platforms. I've also made some updates to the tool itself, and the grass can be blended with terrain meshes now. All the files that you need are linked in the description. Here's what the grass looks like under different lighting settings. So here we have our point lights. And what it looks like when you rotate the directional light. Different ambient lighting. And no directional light at all. And what it looks like with shadows. Let's go over all of the features of the painter. Um, up first here we have a grass limit. Um, it's set to like 50,000 by default. But keep in mind, because we are making just one mesh, um, Unity itself has a limit of like 62,000 or something uh, vertices within one mesh, so this is just a very safe number. Then we have the hit settings with the hit mask, so um, the layers on which the colliders will be hit, and then the painting mask, the layer which actually will be painted on. And then we go to the paint status, so we start with add and then we get the brush size, the normal limit, which is the angle that can be painted on. If it's set to 1, you can paint on the sides of things. And if it's set to 0, it will only paint on completely flat parts. And then the density of the points placed. And we have the width and length. And colors with some uh, randomness thrown in. And next up is remove. And then we get to edit, where you can um, change the colors or the length. And there's also a soft fall off here, so let's try and paint it purple. There's also some flow settings to make it softer. And you can change the um, length and width here too, if you set it to both. And the last mode is reproject, um, just in case you have changed the terrain a little bit. Like if I raise the floor here, the grass will be in the wrong place. And we go back to the grass and hit the reproject button and it will attempt to repaint the position. Down here in the grass compute script there are more options. Uh, the first one is allowed blades per vertex, which means uh, how many blades of grass spawn on each vertex we painted. We set it to 1, uh, up to 5. Of course it'll get much heavier if you make these numbers too big. Then the second option is allowed segments per blades, which goes from 1 to 5. Then you can add some randomness to the height. Um, the blade radius is how far from the original point the blades will spawn. Then there is a forward amount and curve amount. And then there's a new option for the bottom width as well. There's some wind settings and the interactor radius and strength. And here are the distance fade settings. I've changed this so it doesn't uh, pop in and out of existence but rather the width gets scaled, so it sort of fades in nicely. Let me show you. And then we have some tinting settings for the top tint and the bottom tint of the grass. And then the final setting is shadows on or off. And then finally here in the material we have the blending settings. 
the top fade, which will add in the um, top tinting color. And then there is this toggle to um, offset the ambient in the shadows because this really depends on which materials you use for your terrain. And this is just an attempt to sort of give you the option to fix it. But you really gotta check that out for yourself and see what works best for you. I think that's everything, so let's go over the step-by-step -step setup now. First we have to grab a bunch of scripts from the two public Patreon posts linked in the description. Here is the first one about the tool, the painting tool. And if you scroll down, uh, here you can find the new scripts. So just uh, copy the paste bin code. Go to your project, create a new script. Name it the same as the class is named in paste bin. Open this up, uh, paste all of the code in there, and that'll work. So do the same thing for the editor script. And of course, because this is an editor script, it needs to be stripped out of the build. And for that to happen, we need to put it into a, a folder called Editor. And if you don't have it, you have to make it yourself. We'll add the editor script to the editor folder. And now we move to the second post. Scroll down. And here are the scripts we need. The first one is needed for the blending with the terrain. The second one is to run the compute shader. Third one is the compute shader itself. The fourth one is for um, interactive grass. And then there is the shader file and you have to choose um, built-in or URP depending on which one your project uses. I'm gonna grab all of these scripts now. I've grabbed everything but the uh, .compute file and the .shader file. Uh, as you can see, it says .compute. Um, so in order to get this one working, uh, let's just grab the code. And then in Unity, I'm going to right click, create shader, and then select compute shader here. So it's the right type of file and then name it uh, grass blades. And now we can paste our code into it. And then for the normal shader file, I'm going to grab the URP version. And right click, create shader, unlit shader. And the name doesn't really matter here. Um, and paste it in. And that should be all of the files we need. Okay, now we can set up the tool itself. Create an empty game object and call it grass. Add the grass painter script and the grass compute script. It should automatically add a mesh filter here. Uh, you can get an error about a missing mesh, but that will go away as soon as we start painting. Now down here you can see that it's missing the material and the compute shader. Uh, we can already assign the compute shader, which is uh, grass blades. And then for the material, uh, go back, select the uh, dot .shader file and create a material. It does not have a preview because it only works with data from the compute shader, so don't worry about that. And back to the grass object and assign the material here. 
And now we are ready to start painting, so we need a floor. And you can see as soon as I clicked on the floor, the um, grass number here is going up, but we don't see anything yet because the uh, compute shader script hasn't found the source mesh yet. So uh, disable and enable the script to see it. And here, here you can see our grass, but it is completely black because our brush color is black. Let's make that green. Uh, clear the mesh to try again. And it was also really wide, so let's decrease the width a bit. And there we go. We have grass. It's all just one color now, but we can adjust that with uh, the top fade offset in the material. There we go. It is using the brush color that we painted with and the top and bottom tint in the grass compute screen. So that's the setup without blending, but now let's add the blending stuff to it. Create an, a new empty game object. Call it a terrain render. And add the render terrain map script to it. And we will be using uh, an orthographic camera to create a snapshot of the floor to blend with. So we need to make a new camera as a child. Set it to orthographic and point it down. So set the X rotation to 90. And then go back to the parent and assign the camera here. And now all of the terrain to blend with needs to be on its own layer. I'm going to use the water layer here because uh, I won't need it anywhere else in this project. So the floor is now set to water. Set the layer here to water as well and then drag in the floor renderer to the list here. If you uh, disable and enable the script again, you should see that the camera is the size of the floor now. And if we go back to the cross material, we can turn on the toggle for blending. And there we go. It's now blending with the gray floor. And if we add a new material to the floor, it should just keep blending. So let's give it a different texture. Uh, emojis and set it to the floor and you can see that it keeps blending. To use the interactivity, you just need to add the shader interactor script to your character. I'll show it off with a capsule. And then in the grass compute script, you just have to assign it. And we hit play. Go back to the scene view and move the capsule around. And you can see that the grass is moving away from the capsule. And that's it. Thanks for watching. These tutorials are made possible by my amazing patrons, and you can find a big list of all tutorials covering topics like shaders, gameplay, box modeling, textures, and colors on my GitHub page linked below. Thank you.